Now welcome. The video is going to be about Samba. This is a virtual box system. 18.12.7 has been released mid-December of 2018 and we decided not to put Samba on it. There are different reasons for it. Uh, one is that we had an error popping up. Every user saw when he was um, going um, shutting down, we actually saw a message and it was an, 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 a red message telling, hey, Samba is, is not started and people got worried and all that. Let's see if uh, Google finds it. Samba Arco Linux, maybe there's a file somewhere. I don't think it's in here. No. So we need to go to arcolinux.com and we've rearranged everything. So we could actually use the tag cloud as well and look for the word Samba in here. That's it. And in general, we have also somewhere the word Samba alphabetically applications Samba. So there was an issue at some point in time, November 2018. There was this error message and everybody saw this fail to start Samba daemon and everybody was concerned. Now, what we don't want to have on Arc Linux ever is an application that brings frustration and errors like this that throw us um, errors like this. That's not um, feeling good. Meaning learn, enjoy and have fun is not having a failed message up there. So this update came along. We don't, um, uh, we can't do anything about it in the sense that Samba is developed by somebody else. We just get the update in and everything broke. So we did find out a solution how to fix so everything is fixed and Samba can be used. But due to this um, problem and of course after reading more and more articles as well, considering security as well since um, opening up your ports for communication in your network is a vulnerability nevertheless. Um, but if you want it, it can be installed but the thing is this is version 18.12.7 and as from now, Samba is not standard install. But we've made it easy for you guys. So what do you do then? When you have 18.12.7 um, installed, you go to Thunar, Ctrl H or View, Show Hidden Files. And there's a lot of stuff in here. It's in the hidden files is where the fun is. In the dot bin, we have here lots of nice little scripts you can run, like this sysinfo is something that people always ask me online. Hey, what's this little thing that you put, put on there when you make a little screenshot? You just put it up there and everybody asking, hey, what is this? So that's that. So a lot of interesting stif stuff, but also stuff to keep rolling. So if you did not do a clean install, you might have uh, run these things in here. But in the main, we have added here the install Samba and the 150. So the 140 and the 150 is what you need to install to be able to communicate again with your Windows and your Mac PCs in your network. It's not for internet, it's for your home network. And I only hope, I stress that, I only hope you're working behind a firewall at home. So everything comes in into your root router, it's called in English, I think, root router, right? Comes in there, there's a great firewall in there, and then everything behind it is what we call the LAN, or local area network, so everything should be protected because of this firewall being there. Otherwise, you're open to the world. So the point is, if you want to have Samba, you do a list to say, okay, these are the things you can have. So I ask you to run 140, this you run if you have, if you want Samba installed on this machine. So if you want people to connect to this computer, and then you're gonna say, my sister is called, I don't know, eh? a name, and you give the name in. So I'm called Eric. This guy, Eric, can connect. And what is his password? You know by now, that's my password. So anybody connecting, of course, is a virtual machine, so no. Eh? But you can connect to this computer, the Samba server, if you log in as Eric and if you know the password. It's not finished. 
what you need to do as well is go into the file system etc samba and we have uh, different kind of things in here there are, this is exact copy this should not be any way different so exact copy and this one so this one is what we use this is just text and this one the last one is coming from samba itself so you have the original from the company itself and these things are the things we've changed so we want to see our windows uh, line that's this line here um, and this is coming from the arch linux wiki i believe it was and in the end it's important to say okay if you want to share something with your home network then you can say let's delete this this dot uh, semicolon it's called yeah semicolon and let's um, open up a folder so open sublime text you need to save it so sublime text is the best way to go it allows you to save on these protected parts of your system this needs to go delete 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 save there you go now I, what did i share i shared a folder in home eric shared so of course you're not named eric so you should change it and change eric into your username delete the uh, semicolon characters to activate I have to make a folder okay fine no problem i can make a folder Control h right mouse click create folder shared create that's it anything you put in here anybody else can see of course if you want to share another folder um, you do so if it's want to have music or video anything goes but i always tend to move it to here and when it's not needed anymore I delete it again so we have a shared folder great it's browsable guess is okay public yes writable yes so people can actually dump something on it as well if you don't want it to be writable and just sharing with the people in your network and say okay don't touch it don't want you to delete the pictures or the video or anything then you say writable no but basically this is an all way kind of a simplistic um, way to share simple share for home purposes never for active directory purposes or anything like that it's just for mary and fred stuff well something like that so basically um that's that for you but what you need to do as well if you've done this shared you have to run the 150 uh, what 150 is doing is making sure you can see the network so browse network nothing to be seen but you need to tell the computer hey uh, get me my software to go and discover the network so is that not installed you can't see anything either so you need to install all these elements these lego blocks uh, so this is avahi and they created a sim lock sim link sorry <laughs> And well, there's just one thing to do now, and that's reboot. So start by rebooting. If we do, an, let's do this prior to rebooting. We ask, hey, what is the status of our SMB? Then it's already up and running. So that's a good, good sign. So everything, our configuration is working. There's no error. But anyway, my suggestion to you, uh, after all these things here reboot and see if you can uh, well find your computer so in the end if you're a network you can you're able to browse the network there it is already and it's due to the 150 script that we ran that we see now this uh, article next which is itself of course it's just the folder itself but you connect to it you say hey let's go to my own uh, great folder okay done and now we're sharing over the network as it were i know it's a virtual box but you have to explain it somehow all right enjoy samba so samba is not that difficult to uh, install 140 150 get it it's in here in eric well in my case eric dot bin main it will stay here it will only update in version number so if something changes again with samba we'll update the version and you'll take the last version that you have in here. All right, cheers, have fun with Samba.